Hey everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're all healthy and staying at home. Welcome back to Mario's World, the place where education meets fun. With the current circumstances and the volatility of the market, one can make significant amounts of money if they know what they're doing. If you're wondering how can you start generating revenue for yourself and invest in the near, midterm or long-term range, you're on the right track. And here's the video on the things you need to know before you start investing. So stay tuned to find out more. Before starting off, I just want to say thank you to everybody that have been incredibly supportive so far. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. We're reaching out to new people almost every day and it has been incredible receiving such a positive feedback from you guys at the same time as well as friends and family. And at the same time, since I've received a lot of requests from friends, family and viewers to make a video on investing and what are the things that you need to know, here I am making one. Because of the current circumstances going all around the world with People don't know if there's gonna be another day for them at their current position that they're working in. Businesses are discussing whether they should rent out a lot less than they were used to beforehand. And meaning that actually having a property from a commercial perspective will be more of a liability at the moment rather than an asset. At the same time, some history happened when oil prices became negative. Make sure to check out my video if you click on the I and to visit more on what are the consequences. So overall, with all of this happening, you need to have some money saved on the side. That's a must. Let's say you've got all of that out of the way, you already have some money to rely on if needed to. Now it's time to ask the question, what is investing? Investing in very simple terms is actually putting money forward into something else, meaning that you're buying an asset, hopefully, that will eventually lead to return of your initial investment. The whole idea is that you're aiming to buy as low as possible and as sell as high as possible. Obviously, you're making the difference in between so that you can have your pure profit at the end of the day. There's so many types of investments that you can make that you can't even get me started on those. There's the forex market, then there's the stock market, then there's assets that increase their value over time like properties, then you get mutual funds, then you get ETFs, then you get retirement funds, then you get bonds, then you get options, and there's so many more that I can't even list them. And something very crucial in the current circumstances that we're all in is that if you decide to go down the investment on the stock market, you want to make sure that you diversify your investments. And that means that you have some investments in businesses that provide you dividends, whether that's monthly, quarterly or yearly. So we've already gotten out of the way what is investing and what are the types of investing. Now it's time to ask the question, what an investor do you want to be? Do you want to be short-term investor? Do you want to be mid-term investor? Or do you want to be a long-term investor? And just to give you some explanation, being short-term doesn't mean obviously a few minutes, but it can mean. And long-term doesn't mean obviously like a lifetime. There is no exact measurements of what a short-term, mid-term or long-term, but I can give you an approximate of that. Short-term would be something from a few minutes up to a few days, I would say. Something midterm would be from a few days up to a week and something that is longer than a week I would consider a bit more long term. There's obviously a totally different kind of idea on the long term investing when you're speaking about pension funds. If you're already considering putting some money into a retirement scheme or plan or fund, however you want to call it, that means that you will be putting some money on the side which you will not touch unless you've retired. That means that you'll be getting a specific interest every year and that's not gonna move for the time being. Another very crucial thing is to understand that if you're a short-term or a mid-term investor, you actually become more of a trader than an investor. And obviously, as you can imagine, being a trader requires a bit more skill, a bit more knowledge and awareness of the market. That means that you'll be spending a bit more screen time if you want to make profits on a consecutive basis and that means on a day-to-day -day basis even. An important tip which you definitely must consider when thinking about investments is whether you are gonna be doing something a bit longer term and that means you will be investing investing on a monthly basis or on a weekly basis. What I'm saying is that compounding can definitely be the key for success for you. I've spoken a bit more about compounding and what exactly is in my previous video. So make sure to click the I icon on the top right corner if you want to see what I said. Just on a few words, compounding is allowing you to store a certain amount of money over time, which will increase in value. What that basically means is that if you invest 2000 pounds now and you decide to keep those money for the next 30 years in a specific place, which gathers interest for you, that money will actually become something on the lines of 
56 to 60,000. And that is in two years without you touching the money or investing more than those 2,000 pounds. That is obviously with the idea that there's gonna be inflation of about 2%. So make sure that you consider those things. There are always factors which you cannot expect, but if nothing goes wrong and you still earn the interest, you're all good. Before I get into the question of how much money you need to invest to start making some significant profits, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to turn that notification bell on to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And make sure to leave a comment down below whether you enjoyed this video and what you'd wanna see next. Also make sure to like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Having a bigger ratio on likes and dislikes at the same time with views is gonna definitely boost the content on this channel and it will allow the word to spread all around the world, which will eventually hopefully lead to more people being more educated about the financial markets and leading to more profits about themselves. And now the important question, how much should you invest if you want to make significant amount of money? Or how much should you invest as a starting point? Most brokers around the world have a specific threshold that you need to reach and meet before you can actually start investing. What that threshold is usually they want you to invest at least $50 or so into your account so that they know that you're eligible to trading and there's gonna be for you a capacity to grow that account. So realistically speaking, yes, you can start trading and investing with $50. However, what that also means is that you will have to take a bit bigger leverage. What that means is that if you have invested 100 pounds, but you have the one to 10 leverage, you have buying power not of a hundred pounds but of a thousand pounds what that means is that you can definitely increase your profits over time because you have the buying power of a thousand pounds but what that also means is that your risk will be much higher because remember at the end of the day you have only hundred pounds and if you want to find out more about what leverage is and you're getting a bit more confused make sure to leave a comment down below and I'm gonna leave a bit further description on what it actually is so yes, 50 up to 100 pounds or something like this is the minimum threshold for most brokers around the world. But what is the amount that you need to make a living out of it? That's a very important question to ask. Well, I would say around $20,000, pounds or euros. So if you have that account already open with that amount of money, you'll be able to sustain just with your profits, cover your expenses, and at the same time live a happy life and make profits that you can reinvest or do whatever you want with them. I just wanted to give you an example. Those 20,000 pounds, if you make 5% a month, that will bring you a revenue of 1,000 pounds. That obviously is not a huge amount, but when you're starting off and you want to cover your expenses, for example, for rent, that is actually more than enough. In most case scenarios around the world, a thousand pounds is a very decent amount of money if you're thinking about a salary. Obviously, if you don't have a rent payment coming up or you don't have any type of other big expenses coming up, 1,000 pounds will be definitely a huge amount of money for you. You're also considering that you can be whatever you want around the world. You may be laying on the beach and drinking your mojitos or whatever. And let me just give you my personal advice on how much I think is the best idea if you've already had some time to backtest your strategy. Make sure you've entered at least 100 trades. Make sure that you have a good win reward ratio. Make sure you have a good risk reward ratio. I would advise you to start investing with at least 500 pounds up to 5,000 pounds. That way you'll be definitely able to see the return on your investment and at the same time you'll see the real value of money when you start investing. You'll be able to see the growth of your account much quicker than you expected. And obviously this amount of money or even the 50 to 100 pounds or the 20,000 can be increased exponentially if you're focused and you're staying aligned with your goal. Now that we've covered the question on what amount of money you should invest, I think it's time to discuss where can you actually put that money? What broker should you trust? Having said that, I have exactly three brokers that I can recommend to you guys. The first one is Trading212, and that is a broker that I currently use for commodities and stock investments. And the next two are IC Markets and BD Swiss. I'm giving a bit more detail about BD Swiss and why I actually like them on my previous videos, so make sure to click on the i button so that you can see exactly what I'm speaking about. All of those three brokers I can definitely recommend because I've used them personally. I can tell you that the withdrawal time is very good. The spread is very good as well. The support is also incredibly good. You can take my word for granted if you want to, but I can definitely tell you that from my personal perspective and the research I've made, those three brokers are the best there are. I can confidently say that I would invest my own money into those three brokers as I've done previously in the past. And that's the reason for me recommending it to you. There's obviously thousands of other ways that you can educate yourself except this video, so I'm gonna provide you with some of those. Additional materials might be some books, might be some YouTube channels, might be some server providers. 
I'm gonna be making a separate video on what are the 10 books that you must read before you start investing. So make sure to leave a like if you think that will be a good content for you guys and let me know in the comments down below whether you want to see something else. There's a few channels that I trust on YouTube when it comes down to investing and I'm gonna tell you which those channels are. The first one that I can recommend is Ricky Gutierrez. He's a stock trader and I can tell you because I've been following him for the past few years or so that he's definitely a legitimate person and he's 100% honest. The second person that I can definitely recommend from that perspective is Graham. You've probably heard about him because he's a serious real estate investor and has already proven to be worth millions. And the third one that I can definitely recommend is Volutainment. I've also been subscribed to him for already a few years and I can tell you that he has provided great knowledge to entrepreneurs and people that want to be engaged into the financial markets. On the books, even though there's gonna be a new video coming up as I mentioned previously on the 10 books that you need to read, I'm just gonna give you a few so that you know what to look out for. The first one is obviously Rich Dad Poor Dad. I think it's a good one, but definitely not the best one. And the second one is The Intelligent Investor. Even Warren Buffett himself has recommended this book on numerous occasions and he says that this is the best book that has been ever written on investments. And on the third point, having a mentor or having a signal provider, that will definitely be FX Cartel or FX Professional. As I've mentioned on my previous video, FX Professionals have actually allowed you guys to get a free lifetime access to their premium services if you sign up now with BD Swiss and you invest 300 pounds. It's as simple as. So make sure to check in the description down below if you want to gain access to those lifetime premium services. All you need to do is sign up to BD Swiss, deposit 300 pounds and that's it. But just make sure that you ping me via Telegram so that I can actually confirm the account and send you the link to those lifetime premium services. And you all may be wondering what is the ideal return on investments? Well, let me tell you, it all differs obviously because of the way that you guys trade. There's obviously so many different things that come into consideration when speaking about what kind of return should you expect from your investments. It all comes down to your win ratio, to your risk reward ratio, and at the same time about how much you're putting into. And the next point is that you definitely need to have a strategy. Make sure you create a business plan, where you wanna be in the next week or so, where do you wanna see yourself in the next month or so, or whatever the time period is. What I'm saying is that you need to have a plan and you need to make sure that you stick onto it. But please don't get demotivated if you don't reach your plans in the first instance. The whole point is that this is a long-term game. Even though if you're a short-term investor, mid-term investor, or long-term investor, all of those combined profits are gonna end up to you having a lot more money down the line when you're gonna be 30, 40, 50, 60, retired or whatever the age is. Another huge tip is to never be emotional. If you're losing, don't worry, that's part of the game. We all lose, I even lose, that's normal. And at the same time, don't get too cocky if you're winning too much. Obviously, there's gonna be times when you're gonna be a lot up because the markets are incredibly favorable based on your strategy. But the overall idea is that you don't take more risk than you're prepared to lose. A good rule of thumb is that you invest approximately 2% of your account or even sometimes 0.5 or 1% of your account if you're feeling comfortable. Obviously, if you're buying stocks, it may be a bit more, something like 15% so that you're expecting a bit more returns. When you've already set up that business plan, it's also very crucial to know that you should not have expectations to reach that goal. You should definitely work towards it, but you should not have expectations. Because if you don't meet those expectations, you're probably gonna be sad or demotivated and we don't want you to be at that point. That should be all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You learned something new. You got some knowledge on where do you wanna invest, how much do you wanna invest and how do you wanna proceed further down the line. Make sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see next. It's incredibly important for me to know what you guys want to see so that I can make very engaging content and provide you guys with the support that you need. Having said all of that, I think it's time to end this video. So thank you all so much for watching. You have been incredible so far. Like this video, subscribe and up to the next one.